Has anybody ever told you that they had a dream about you? Yeah? Well, consider this. They're fucking lying. Now, don't get me wrong. They could be telling the truth, but 666 times out of 10, they're probably fucking lying. Yo, girl, I had one sexy ass dream about you last night. Uh, oh, uh, really? The first thing anyone's gonna do after you tell them that you had a dream about them is ask, well, what the fuck happened? I have no chill. Please be warned though, because once you ask this question, you're basically inviting this person in to fucking lie to you like they're facing 25 to life fucking Bill Cosby. This nigga fucked up. And now you're just giving this person a chance to say absolutely anything they fucking want. Why? Fuck. <coughs> because you don't actually know what the fuck they dream about. Unless you're a fucking Avenger or their goddamn psychiatrist. This is when niggas want to tap into their fucking hidden, unknown, artistic Shakespeare shit and start writing some fucking Fifty Shades of Black down your goddamn throat. Yeah, girl, so we was out hunting vampires and shit because, you know, like, I'm one of the romantic type niggas because, like, like, Twilight's the best fucking romance of our time and shit, so, like, I had to keep it, I had to keep it classy for my dream, you know? So, so we out and we looking for, like, one of the, like, sex dungeons or some shit because, you know, Edward can't be out in the fucking daylight and shit. So, we in the fucking dungeon and, and I got my candlestick. Well, well, you was, you was holding the candlestick, but I think you got scared of something and you, like, fucking dropped that shit. So, you was like, oh, let me get it. So, you bent over and you got it and, but, but it wasn't the candle, it was my dick. And I guess you thought you could, like, suck it to, like, light the candle again because, you know, you got that fire mouth, but it was actually sucking on my dick. What? We didn't meet no vampires, but you did meet my kids. And then I had to wake up and wash my sheets and shit, but... Oh, uh, okay, sounds interesting. And the thing about this is you can't even get freaked out because it's a dream and you don't know if that shit happened or not. So no, Naomi, I didn't have a fucking dream about you. I just happened to wake up with my dick hard as Chirac and want to tell you about some shit that didn't fucking happen. Martin Luther King had a dream until he got shot. John Lennon had dreams until he got shot. I have sexual frustration. Now there's an actual conversation going on about sexual dreams and shit. It opens up the doors for that shit to play out in real life, including the vampires and shit. Best thing to do to avoid this shit from going any further is pretend like you're Planned Parenthood and just abort that shit right when it starts. <laughs> that is so fucked up. That's the end of the video. Thank you for tuning in and watching me scream at my fucking camera for however long this shit is. Have you ever done this to someone? Has someone ever done this to you? If so, leave it in the comments. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you next time. Fuck, I need to make an outro. God damn.